Hello, and welcome to my vExpert Home Lab review video for 2023. I'm Chris Mutchler, VCDX257, and I currently work at VMware as a senior staff cloud infrastructure architect. Let's get started. I've had several different labs over the last 10 years, but this current iteration is by far the most complete because it includes a leaf spine physical network. This network layer includes two Cisco Catalyst 3560G 24 port gigabit switches connected to a physical NetGate 2100 PFSense router. I went with the gigabit network primarily due to the cost and not having a justification to the time for a 10 gigabit network. The storage layer is provided by a Synology DS1618 Plus storage array with six Western Digital 2 terabyte red drives. The array also includes two Western Digital 500 gigabyte black M2 SSD drives that I use for the caching tier and increased performance. The compute layer is provided primarily by three Dell PowerEdge R630 servers with a single socket Intel Xeon E5 2660 10 core CPU. They each have 128 gigs of RAM, a Perk H730 RAID card, and a Dell four port gigabit NIC. Each server also has a 300 gigabyte SAS disk that I use for the installation of ESXi. I was able to purchase the servers used through Orange Computers as a way to reduce costs, and they were spec'd out originally to be able to support vSphere 7 and vSAN. The entire purpose of the lab is to be able to support, learn, and develop blog and workshop content for my website, Virtual Elephant. From a software perspective, the lab runs uh, vSphere 7, vCenter Server 7, NSXT 4.0 with the Advanced Load Balancer, and a variety of the VRLI's uh, suite products. The primary use case for the lab over the last year has been deploying and installing Kubernetes and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. While I do have hopes to be able to support vSAN 8 and vSphere 8 in the future, that will require newer servers that have a processor that is on the HCL. In the meantime, I've found this hardware to be more than adequate for most of my use cases and testing new technologies.